here we are in the Swedish wonderful nature. With, uh, hurdy, hurdy, hurdy. Yeah. <laughs> hurdy, hurdy. <laughs> well, no Muppet Show here, but this is pride and glory <laughs> yeah. in Stockholm. Yeah, there's a yeah. duck in this park. It's not the first time for you, Zach, because you've been here no, before. No, I've been, I've been here before with Ozzy. James has been here when he was, he was in uh, White, White Lions. Lions. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and Brian has just come here with these guys. Yeah. Yeah. Take inventory. I was very surprised when I heard the album because uh, I know what you two have been doing. I never heard Brian what band you've been in, but uh, I thought it would be more kind of a heavy metal stuff. But I then know. I listened to this, and it's like my old favorites is Allman Brothers kind oh, of cool, feeling, man. and it's very southern, rootsy, bluesy. Yeah. How come? Um, I don't know, you know, just listen to lots of Allman's records and Skinner and drink a lot of beer. <laughs> That's the result, man. <laughs> you know yeah, but I mean? you've been playing more heavy metal stuff before, haven't you? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, with Ozzy and stuff, but I mean, it's just, uh, you know, when I when I go out on the road with Oz, you know what I mean? I just, always, I'd always end up listening to the Skinner and Norman Brothers and, you know, stuff like that and Sabbath and everything. And, you know, they're just a big influence on the band, so, you know. Did Ozzy say that it was okay for you to listen to that kind of music? <laughs> oh, I drive him nuts with it, man, you know? <laughs> I drove him completely insane with the crap. Yeah. yeah. So I'd, I'd, I'd have it on all the time. He'd be like, "Turn that southern crap off," you know what I mean? So, but uh, no, it was uh, that was a good time. Man. Oh, you guys can hear that shit. I take it. Go ahead, Brian. Start it off, man. situation you are now the lead singer as well and, yeah uh, you have more to do live how do you manage that you, you're, well, you're it's, just it's real easy man, you know I mean you just get up there you get your ass up there and you just do it you know what I mean <coughs> not much thought goes into it you know what I mean it's just uh it's just something you do it's like taking a crap you know what I mean yeah, but, you just but, do it <laughs> but you're, you're on a trio and I mean in the studio it can be easier I think to to fill up the, the sound and to get yeah, the I mean, how the, is it live to play on the trio basis oh, it's the same thing that's what the record is we well, like when we record the albums it's just three of us live and then that's it you know it's I mean, actually even singing while we're, while we're playing as well. while we play I sing yeah. so I mean it's not like we do mounds of overdubs and all that stuff so this way we can reproduce it live you know what I mean you, you get a better live feeling on the album as well right? yeah so, totally absolutely. It's more, there's more spontaneity and stuff like that, you know. But I mean, you're quite young, all of you. And, and I mean, Zach started out, when did you start playing guitar? I mean, was I 14. You're 14 years yeah. old. And then you came up with Aussie when you were 19 or something. Yeah. Or something, yeah? So, you know, how, how was that for you? you? And I'm only 63 right now, so you know <laughs> I mean. You look great. Hey. 
on Yeah, hey, I want to take care of myself. Yeah, I know. You know, I a little Geritol here and there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, I already heard. Hey, but very... you're, like, you're like a veteran in the rock business, and you're 25 years old. I'm 27 now. You got 27. 27, sorry. See? So you're going to be burned out when you're in my age. I'm telling 27. you, man. I'm telling you. You know, it's, uh, oh, just, um, well, I'm not a veteran yet, you know, but it's like, uh, you're a veterinarian, though, don't you? Uh, I'm a veterinarian. <laughs> <laughs> That's about it. Matter of fact, you want us to look at that after. Not a vegetarian, though. <laughs> we'll take a look at this later hey, on. Look at that. Hey, who's pet is that? that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah. Generals gathered in their masses. Just like witches at black masses Evil minds that plot destruction Sorcerer gets construction In the fields of bodies burning As the war machine keeps turning Death and hatred to mankind Brainwash minds. Oh, Lord, yeah. It's not just a hobby band, because no, this, this is, is your yeah, project that you... It's not like a side project and then, you know, we're all going to do something else. I mean, this is the band, you know what yeah. I mean? This is like my new house now, you know what I'm saying? It's, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's my apartment now. Yeah. Yeah. I read a lot that you, you really love to play and jam around at the clubs after the yeah, ordinary totally. games. You I mean, never get like, tired of it at all? I mean, you maybe not believe it, but I'm an old rock musician myself. I'm a drummer, really. Oh, I right, right. Drum. And I really felt when I was about 30 years old that now I had enough of this. And I oh, really? stopped, you know, and turned into, into you. Oh, oh man. I, but, but don't you ever get tired of just to do something else? Maybe cut your hair or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, I mean, uh, no, it's like getting tired of drinking beer. I, I don't think that's ever going to happen, you know what I mean? This is your life. You're, yeah. You're, I mean, there's, you know, there's, it's... It never gets boring to me. I mean, it never gets old. You know what I mean? It's just, I love it. So you know. Yeah. It's the same for you. Well, it's, it's all in the music, man. It's all you know. Yeah. It's all yeah. you do what you love to do. Yeah. But let's talk. Since you know that I'm, I can play, I want to know a little about the technique. 
in rock music. I mean, it's very interesting when you, when you, I always read modern drama, you know, when there was always these notes for the drum parts yeah. and all that kind of stuff. How important is it to, to really be able to play really good and you compare to the feeling of the music? Well, How do you wave that up? I mean, te technique wise, I mean, all this technique does, it just enables you to do a bit more on the instrument, you know what I mean? It doesn't yeah. limit you, you know what I mean? But I mean, uh, but you know, at the same time, I mean, a lot of people, it depends on how you use it. I mean, a lot of people, you know, technique comes first and then feel is second. I mean, the bottom What do you like that? <laughs> at the end of the day, feel is the, you gotta put emotion into what you're doing. I mean, otherwise all the scales in the world isn't gonna, it's gonna sound. You'll sound like a robot. You know what I mean. But it's necessary to have it in the, in in the, as a base. Yeah, just to, to learn. I, I mean, yeah. I think. You know what I mean. But you know, there's a lot of guys out there that really can't even. They only they can only whack out a few chords, and they're they're good at that. You know what I mean. So. I always say that about Cesar Top, for example. You always say that they really can't play that good, but that they have a lot of feeling. But that's not yeah. really a try. Well, I mean, to be honest, I mean, those guys can play really yeah. good. Yeah, they can. Yeah. They, they got some chops from hell. It's the know? same if you look, if you listen to old blues guitarists as well. I mean, yeah, a lot of them they can't. They're not the fastest guys in the world, but they but got. Then, but they play the right tone. You know what yeah. I mean? A lot of feel. Yeah. But what about then um, this with the, with the feeling and technique? Is it the technique? Uh, are the rock bands really that have too much of technique and too little feel, too, too short of feel? Oh yeah, I'm sure. That, you know, I mean, you're gonna get that. I mean, you know, I'll just listen to our record. <laughs> now in the new album and you're going to continue what happened with Ozzy Osbourne the new tour with him I still talk to Ozzy I still keep in touch with him you know but uh I mean we're like family and stuff like that so you know I talk with Oz you know every couple of days and stuff like that so I mean just say hi and stuff but uh no Ozzy's working with like Steve Vai right now and we might get back together and do something you know what I mean I mean there's always always be room for that you know yeah. Yeah. okay <laughs> Well, thank you for your time here, and hope you have a thank nice you. day in Stockholm. Oh, thank you. Not, too, right not now. too many beers, and not too many women, and not too many of that old classical. <laughs> oh, beers, women, I'm married, man, so my life's over. <laughs> oh, hey, hey. Or maybe it's, it's just <laughs> begun. <laughs>